Hi, I'm Pat Freeman and welcome back to my garage. Today I just received a set of BMW i8 paddle shifters. These are not factory. These are actually made in China and I have a link to the uh, location where I purchased them in the description below. But these are very high quality anodized aluminum. They feel really good in the hand and I'm hoping to get them in the car today. Let's start with our left paddle shifter, the one with the minus on it. And in this bag here, there's a few plastic parts. And how this works is this piece slides into here. It is spring-loaded. There's a few catches here to try to get this tab in this hole. There we are. So that's in place. And we can see through this hole here, that's where a screw is going to go. And there's also a small screw hole in this plastic piece. And this is going to go on the back side. And I can see there's like a little cut in the metal where this plastic piece also slides in. And our holes line up. It's plastic, so we're not going to tighten it too much. But there we go. This now gives us the ability to mount this in place of our current paddle shifters using these holes here. There's going to end up being a piece of metal that slides down in here to give it the pivot that it needs in order to shift gears. The first thing we have to do in order to replace our paddle shifters is to remove the negative terminal on the 12 volt battery. That's under here in the bonnet. So first thing we got to do, disconnect our charging. In order to get the hood open, we got to go down and remove these access panels on both sides. Remove this access panel. Inside there is a pull cable. If you give it a pull, it releases this side of the hood. Let's do that for the other side. Let's remove this access panel and then pull the cable in there to release that side of the hood. There's also an indication on the console to let us know that the front hood is open. So I made sure to roll the windows down and the doors before I shut the doors because we're about to pull the battery cable off and you won't be able to put the windows down or get in the door unless you use the special key in the key fob. Now in order to lift the hood you need two people. You need one hand up near the headlight you need another hand back here at the back of the bonnet. So we're going to pull straight up as we tip it forward. Once it's at the highest position we'll use a screwdriver and stick it in the linkage. Here you can see where the screwdriver is inserted into one of the holes in the hood support. There are multiple holes, but you'll find the one that contains both of the actions of the support. Next, we'll use a 10 millimeter socket in order to remove the nut that holds the negative battery terminal on the battery. set the negative terminal off to the side. The airbag system is now de-energized. The camera is now positioned at an angle where you can see the back of the steering wheel. Here's the current paddle shifters. And here is an indentation where we have to stick a device in order to free up the airbag. 
The service manual recommends a T25 Torx bit. So I matched my T25 Torx bit up to the nearest Allen wrench. Insert into the hole and you can free the airbag. Do the same on the other side. These are spring-loaded clips. Next, we'll take our T20 Torx bit and we'll remove the paddle shifter at that silver screw and as well as on the other side. Our paddle shifter is now free. I'm going to set the camera down and take the screw all the way out. It may be hard to see. This will be our normal paddle shifter position. On the bottom of the paddle shifter is a small metal rod. And I have an Allen wrench. I'm just going to try to line up. There it goes. I'm able to pull the rod out. And now that frees up the paddle shifter. so that I can remove the stock one and insert its replacement. As you see there's a spring here, but be careful not to lose that. And here on the paddle shifter itself are two square holes those are the same square holes we have here. Try to get our hole lined up and get our rod through. And we're just going to wiggle the components a little bit until everything lines up. And there we are. I'm going to take my uh, Torx bit and screw. I'm going to put the screw in the hole first since it's a very long screw. And I'm going to try to line up the paddle shifter with it.
When we put the airbag back on, we want to make sure that we seat it exactly the same on both sides. Because these spring-loaded clips in the back will catch one side and then won't catch the other side. So we've got to push straight in on both sides at the same time. There we go. Now we can reconnect our negative battery terminal to the battery and tighten the 10 millimeter nut to the required 5 newton meters. That's pretty snug. All right, now we're ready to put the front hood down, and we pull both sides up, take the screwdriver out, and then slowly let the bonnet down. We want to keep pressure in the front upwards while we allow the back to come down. And we want to make sure that we press where the latches are at. We can actually see inside that there's an area where the latch exists. We're just going to put both hands on there, push down on the count of three. One, two, three. And we're just going to make sure everything lines up properly. If it doesn't, if the hood looks like it's a little wanky, we're just going to pop the hood and do it again. Finally, we're going to tuck in the pull cords and reinsert the access panel. And the same for the passenger side. I can't wait to get out and enjoy these new paddle shifters. So I've had the opportunity to use these paddle shifters for the past week or so after I installed them and made the original installation video. So I'm adding this to the installation video to give a demonstration and review of how they work. What I really like about these paddle shifters is that I can place my hands in the 10 and 2 position and just extend my middle finger through my pinky finger against the paddles and be able to shift up or down. I can also do the same if my hands are at the bottom of the wheel. I can actually touch the paddle shifters with my index fingers if I'm driving in this position. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video today. Be sure to tune in again for more how-to information on the BMW i8.